everyone, welcome to another episode of Ask Flora. I'm Flora Sage, six-time author and founder of the Flora Sage Therapies Institute, the place for ethical spiritual development. So this week's topic is about receiving and being able to allow yourself to receive. So for years, I have been a giver. Give, 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 give. I give gifts, I give of my time, I give of my talents. I make free videos, yay, <laughs> which I absolutely love. But for years, I never chose to receive. I never chose to allow receiving energy and that caused a lot of headache, a lot of times where I felt like I was getting ready to burn out and I knew that I needed to make a change. And so one of the things that I did was I started to compile a list of uh, receiving affirmations. And over time, I collected a really big list of affirmations and I would repeat them every day. I had them on note cards and I would repeat them every single day. And then finally one of my friends was like, what are you saying? And I, cause, I, Cause she had spent the night and I was drinking my coffee and she was sleeping on the couch and I'm doing my little cards and stuff. She's like, what are you saying? I said, oh, I'm saying my, I'm open to receive affirmations. And she goes, I wanna see. And so she saw this and she's like, oh my God, you need to make a deck. <laughs> and I was like, okay. So I made open to receive affirmation cards and these are my personal uh, um, receptivity affirmations that I've been using for years. And you know, it has taken a little bit but I have finally learned to receive and I know many of you watching are very successful in your careers and in your lives but you many times just give and give and give and give and give. And you don't allow that receiving energy to come in your life. And how do you know if, the, if that receptivity or that receiving energy isn't coming in? You feel tired all the time. You feel drained. You feel exhausted. You feel overwhelmed. You feel undervalued. You feel like you're like, oh my God, if I get one more email or if I get one more text or if I get one more person asking me to make cupcakes for the PTA, I'm going to pull my hair out. And you start to get so frustrated. That is the key, that when you're feeling overwhelmed and frustrated and like, oh my God, people really, that's when you know that you're right at that brink of kind of snapping. And in our society, it's easy to have that happen. And so I encourage you to start to look for ways that you can start feeding yourself and nurturing your spirit and nurturing your energy instead of constantly giving Give yourself permission to, again, begin receiving things in your life. And one of the ways that you can do that is start to take time for you. So this morning, I always pull one of these cards every morning. I also pull another card from my Simplify Your Life Oracle card deck. But today, the card that I pulled was, I'm open to receiving a relaxed view of life. And for someone who's a constant giver, many times it's hard to relax. It's hard to just go, oh yeah it's nothing but a thing you know because we're constantly giving and we're constantly tired and exhausted and overworked and overwhelmed and one of the ways that I've been able to learn to receive and to to stop that constant outpouring and in that constant outpour and just a tiny trickle in I've learned to notice when I have felt pressure I've noticed when I have felt tired I've noticed when I feel drained or overwhelmed or overworked and as soon as I feel any of those anxious overwhelmed overworked um, just like I'm just giving and giving I stop and I'm like okay I exhale I find my heart space I take a deep belly breath in and I'm like okay what's the next step and I always ask my peeps what's the next step because typically it's usually filling me up with something, whether it's a nap, whether it's five minutes of meditation or 20 minutes of meditation. Maybe it's a walk outside, maybe it's a cup of coffee, decaf. <laughs> maybe it's a, it's a glass of water. Something, or smelling my fabulous flowers that bloomed. Yay, I love peonies. You know, but it's usually something that I can do to fill myself up. It could be reading a couple pages of my books. It could be going on to, um, you know, Facebook and watching some funny videos or YouTube and listening to a song. So that's my challenge for you this week is when you notice that you're feeling exhausted, when you're feeling tired and overwhelmed and overworked and anxious and you're like, oh my God, really, I can't do another thing for somebody else. 
I would encourage you to stop. Take a deep breath. Take that deep breath in. Really take it in. And that is a breath for yourself. That is receiving that life force energy. And then give yourself permission to say, okay, what's the next step? What's one thing that I can do that will make me feel less overwhelmed? That will make me feel more relaxed about my life? Or that will make me feel better? And then notice what you get. Notice what you receive. It could be to go for a walk, take a nap, you know, have a lavender bath. Who knows? But give yourself permission to stop and regroup. And also give yourself permission to start to look at your to-do list and start to look at all those things that you're outpouring and all those things that you're giving and ask yourself, does this really lift me up? Does this really serve me to continue to do this at this point? Or is it more draining and, and does it deplete my energy and my reserves? Okay, so I hope that this serves you. If it has and you've loved it, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or any other social media platform, as well as an email. And if you've really loved it, please subscribe so you won't miss one single episode of Ask Flora. Also, if you have not received your free gift, which is making better decisions in four steps, please head on over to florasage.com, click on the free gift link, and you will be surprised. Give me 10 minutes and I will change your life. That's all it takes for this free gift. And 10 minutes to better decisions. It's phenomenal. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.